The women's lacrosse team erupted this weekend for 31 goals in two victories against conference opponents. We sit down with a few Lady Cardinals to break down their quest for a second straight MWLC tournament bid on this week's Cardinal Report, starting now. Welcome to the Cardinal Report. I'm Mark Dahlquist. Joining me this week are members of the women's lacrosse team, Allison Mooser, Sarah Hahn, and Shannon Prince. Ladies, thanks for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having us. Yes. So you guys bounced back from your first conference loss with two big wins this weekend, outscoring the opponents 31 to 13. That was pretty impressive. Allison, what, how big were those wins for the team this weekend? We really needed them, especially when we go through like losses. We need a couple like winning streaks to get us back. And Sarah, the offense was obviously going this weekend, but the defense, you did a great job defending your net. What was working well for you guys, you know, on the defensive side? Um, I think keeping our heads in it definitely helps. And, like, we, like, always try to lift each other up and just say, that was so good, you know. And then we always like to joke, too, so that helps. Obviously. Yeah. And uh, Shannon, we talked even after the game, and you said that one of the biggest things about, you know, that first win and even the second win, you guys were getting assists. Yeah, it's great to see those because like, it really makes you work as a team and, you know, on the other side, like, I hate when people, when other team gets assists. Those are good plays, so I think it gets in their heads. Allison, you're ready to jump in there. Are assists that important, especially from a defensive perspective? You know, like, when you guys are moving the ball up, how important is it to move that ball around? Well, the, as a defense, like, you're always moving your head, and you'll lose your girl more often when it keeps going around, and they get assists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the Carter Report was there to see the team start off the weekend with a win. In case you missed it, we got you covered. Let's go to the highlight. Sarah Hahn and the Cardinals looking to defend their home turf this past weekend as the Thunder from Trine University come into Benedetti Whirly Stadium for a Midwest Women's Lacrosse Conference matchup. North Central up 2-1 in the early going. Rachel Hoop would take care of this one herself all the way around the goal. She sees a weak spot in the D and makes the Thunder pay. Cardinals leading scorer on the year, Danielle Fiala, would get in on the fun, erupting for two unassisted goals in less than two minutes. And the Cardinals jump out to a 6-1 lead with just under 11 minutes gone by. The Cardinal defense wouldn't make it easy for trying to claw back. Jamie Legner causes the Thunder turnover. The Cardinals force 10 first half turnovers and 15 in the game. Sarah Hahn was there to clean up anything that got past the defense as she had eight saves defending her net. Cardinal offense stays in attack mode. Caroline Gully on the free position shot bounces one of her three goals past Grace Garrett. Then with 30 seconds remaining, Fiala finds Allison Muser in front of the net for her eighth goal of the season, and the Cardinals head into halftime leading comfortably 10 to one. After Gully tallied another goal, Jacqueline Morgan controls the ball on the faceoff. She moves it up to Fiala who surveys the D then centers it to Gully. She finds a cutting Adelaide Deckmeyer for the Cardinals' 12th goal in the game. They go on to trounce the Thunder in a 14-7 win. So, Allison, you guys had 20 assists in your previous 10 games, but Are you, you serious? had. Yeah, okay. Had, <laughs> I'm serious. The stats okay, that's good. But you guys had eight against Trine. That's almost half of your season total to that point. Wow. What was working so well in that game that was different from the other ones? During practice, we just the day before we just worked on passing to others and working on getting the ball around so everyone gets touches before anyone shoots. And the, the three conference leaders in assists are the three conference leaders in the standings. So what does that say about how important it is to move the ball around in this conference? It works. <laughs> You're going to win if you move the ball and get some assists in. And the Cardinals aren't just in the top of the standings there in assists, but you guys are up, also up there in shots, goals scored. Uh, how has this you know, team's offense worked, Shannon, over the past years that you've seen from you know, when you were a freshman to being a senior now? You know what, it's so much better. Now we've got girls who, at first it, it was hard to pass the ball around because girls didn't have as much experience, but now that we trust each other, if I pass the ball, I know my teammate's going to catch it and she will score. So I think that helps a lot, just the skill level that everybody has gotten these past years. And how different is that dynamic on the field, I guess, from what you, when you were a freshman to where you are now? How much more comfortable are you guys as a team? Extremely more comfortable. When I was a freshman, I would have to make like 120-yard runs, like back and forth, <laughs> back and forth. 
because I I couldn't pass it as right. much, but now I can pass it like 50 yards of the field, and I know my teammate is going to get it. So it makes it so much easier for everybody that we all have like we're all at like the same skill level. And Sarah, don't think we were going to leave you out either. You're <laughs> you're top of the standings too in the conference for saves per game. Yes. You know, you were just, you were just a freshman last year, just sort of got thrown in. So it seems like you already are a veteran in the net. Yeah, um, I love it. I don't know. I trust my team a lot though. Like whenever I get saves, like I know I can trust any one of my teammates to like get a clear. And so like I really like to thank my defense for that too. Like they help me make awesome saves too. So. How much more confident are you this year though going into games than you know as you were last year as a freshman where you started every game for the Cardinals? Yeah well it was definitely like nerve-wracking last year because it was like oh I'm the freshman I'm gonna mess up you know everyone's judging me but now it's just like like they can trust me too and I just have so much more confidence this year too so. And trust seems to be a big you know portion, portion of this team you guys really seem to show your trust in each other. How have you guys sort of gained that over the years, Allison, you know, being a new team and now coming to a team that's actually, you know, vying for another t tournament bid? Well, we're really close off the field, too, and I think that helps with the trust part. And so when we're hanging out with someone every day, they're like your best friend. So similar with our team, we're all just so close that we can trust each other. And you guys seem to really have a lot of fun, you know, when you're, when you're at practice. You guys, are, you guys are goofing around, even on the sidelines, you're having fun. But when, when you step between those lines, it seems like it's game time for this team. It is. Well, at times, we do get on the field a lot. It's usually easier when you're winning, though. Yeah, true. And you guys have had some nice winning ways recently. Uh, Shannon, it was a little different for you in your first year here. And things have really changed for you since your first year. You were actually an offensive scorer in your first year. Yeah, that was definitely a transition for me because in high school I had never, I had always played defense and then when I came here I was one of the girls with the only experience. So, it, but now that I don't have to be that anymore, I don't have to have that role, I love just staying back and doing my job, which is playing defense. What was that like, you know, being on a team where some of the girls had never even picked up a lacrosse stick before? Well, you know what, at first it was, it was rough, but it was great because the girls, they, were, they learned so quickly and they were so eager to learn and we figured it out. You know, and then we, we went through a lot of players, like people leaving the team, coming. So now that we've had a team that stayed for a few years, it's so much easier instead of making a new team each year. And you guys have shown improvements basically every year in this program. Where's the goal for this year's team? Where do you guys hope to get to by the end of this season? Um, I don't know. I think we're looking at being in third right now which is pretty cool. Like It's a step up, but I think every year we're progressing, and it shows, definitely. Um, I think even though like we won't get like first or second, I think it's kind of cool to see our progression. Like Beating Trine was like a huge accomplishment for us, so I think that's even like a step closer in itself. Yeah, that was the first time you guys had ever beat their program yeah. in lacrosse. You guys avenge a one-goal loss from last year. Was that in the back of your mind when you guys were taking the field, like we just almost beat them last year? Yeah, I still have that game like engraved in my mind, so <laughs> it was awesome to beat them. And there's been a couple of tough losses this year. I mean, you guys have uh, four goal, four games where it was by four goals or less. Mm -hmm. is, is that hurt as a defender to know that you guys are right in there, or is that also you know promising to say that hey, we're in every game? Yeah, well, for me, like as a goalie, like to lose by one is just like I could have saved that one more. But I mean, we are a team, and it's a team effort, and you just gotta. You have to realize that at the end of the game. Um, but I mean, we know we tried our hardest, so. And Allison, being one of those defenders, you guys are almost like that last line of defense before the team gets to Sarah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys take pride in that, knowing that we're not going to let them get in the goal? Yeah. We don't like getting shots off at all. Like, even though we trust Sarah that <laughs> she's going to make all the saves, but getting shot on in general is like a pride issue. <laughs> and as a defender, when you guys are you know, moving the ball up the field, how good is it sometimes when you, when you get the ball in the net? That feels good. That's kind of weird, though. It doesn't happen often. <laughs> well, don't you, get, yeah. don't you get to sort of celebrate like the offensive players do? Yeah, and, you know. mm -hmm. it's always nice, but I like playing deep better. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, you got to celebrate your first goal of the season this past weekend. How was that? It was good. You know, I haven't had one in a while. Like, like you said, freshman year, I scored a lot, and I have a different role now, so that one goal, 
It was pretty cool. <laughs> I was excited. Sarah, your role on this team has stayed the same and will, will probably stay the same. No you, yeah. You, well, four years here. I'm hoping to make a goal eventually. <laughs> Maybe we'll my make senior it happen. year. We'll I don't make know. it happen. Think they can just pull the goalie and then yep. send you out there for one? Yeah, probably. Yep. <laughs> now, would you, have to, would you have to change sticks, though? Because is it yeah. hard to control with that goalie? Well, it's not hard to control, but actually, by the rules, I'd have to change sticks. So I can technically go out with my full goalie gear, mm -hmm. but I have to change sticks and then I can go past the restraining line. So So what if you just did like a quick we exchange, could. just toss it It might happen. You might see it. <laughs> we, we, we can make a Be play ready for next game. We will, yeah. <laughs> see, this is what I was talking about. You guys really seem to have a, a lot of fun and, um, you know, enjoy yourselves on the field. How much does that, you know, revolve off of what the, the seniors have meant to this team, Allison? Well, I'm a senior this year, so this is new. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, the seniors always have fun. It's just a fun sport in general. And then the seniors show like how much fun that they have on the field. And so everyone just feeds off of that. Well, you guys have definitely had a lot of fun <laughs> on the field this year. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we'll continue to see what it will take for this team to get back to the tournament. Keep it right here on the Carter Report.